Okay, we are back again with uh, Revolution Nova, the Pineapple Glitch, and we are at 567 King Street on a protest against Bishop Estates. Bishop Estates is the largest landowner in Hawaii, and they have continuously, over the years, been evicting people just for out speaking against some of the injustices that they do. Bishop Estates has now become one of the largest slumlords in Hawaii by allowing substandard living, construction, and uh, maintenance towards their lands. If people uh, know, Bishop Estates is in charge of the funds that was allotted for the Hawaiians and citizens here for access and public use uh, for lands, the funds, and their school systems. Kamehameha School and Bishop Estates is actually the same entity. Uh, Kamehameha Schools, of course, is their school system for the children, and Bishop Estates is the corporation aspect that, through corporate greed, has allowed the Hawaiians to develop undeveloped land, and when within contract, where they're supposed to be in charge of the land itself to keep maintain and make sure that it's livable and safe, uh, they refuse to do the repairs. And after four floods with the family that we see here, Vegas's, uh, it's destroyed their homes. It's called health, it caused numerous different health problems, financial strains, uh, you know, and, and, other, and other issues that I don't want to go in detail with. But, uh, this infraction, they, when it uh, was addressed, they were told, well, then we'll just evict you. So after they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix the, the land that they live on, that Bishop Estates is supposed to be in control of, they told them, uh, goodbye, we're going to evict you on July 30th. And uh, so they're out to speak out against this. It's like their home is fully paid off. You know, Bishop Estates owns the land. And they have a lease on it that they've been paying, but then uh, after having to pay all those hundreds of thousand dollars to allow that land to be usable, they're now threatened with this. So uh, I'll see if I can get some interviews for you and uh, maybe learn their side of the story of what's going on. Haven't picked on you yet. Yeah, no. Anything you'd like to say? Day two, out here, rallying again, sign waving, trying to stop the landlord injustice. Fix the flooding, Bishop State. Fix the flooding. What kind of problems did you uh, did you happen to see within the family with these floods? I mean, what issues did it cause? Oh man, it ruined our house. It came inside and out. Took away all of our furniture. Ruined our photo albums. Uh, we got to get rid of our dining table. Had mildew on it. There's like animals, dead animals got killed and flushed right through our house, so that's a lot of diseases, you know, there's a lot of bad things that happen in floods, and it was a man-made flood by a covert and a pipe on Bishop Estate land that they have not fixed, and for five years it's been going on and doing them, so those are just some of the hardships that we went through with this four-time flooding. Um, when you say four floods, is that over the course of five years, or is that just a uh, year, two years? Of no, that's five years of flooding. We had four major ones. You know, uh, that's a lot of floods, and that's almost a flood every year. In one year, we had two of them, so it needs to be stopped, and it's not just us. It's other people in Punalu that is affecting all their properties, and we're the only family that's speaking out, so we want to encourage other families to speak out because we know they're hurting like us too. So we really encourage them to sign our petition and come sign way with us and speak out and don't let those big companies take advantage of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was the daughter of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Vegas and uh, we'll see what we hear from uh, Occupy Honolulu. Doing an action. And then, hi. Anything you like to say? I like to say that power to the people, and I wish for everyone not to give up and to always try their best and understand that we are as power, they are as powerful as we make them out to be, and that we live in a world of free will. 
choices mm -hmm. and that we can conquer anything we want to if we choose to follow it. Um, people should know that potential and magic isn't something that you find, it's something that you create and inside of you all the time and we should always be here for each other and always should I do the right thing. What makes uh, Occupy Honolulu interested in wanting to help these people? Um, because of the foundation that they, that they were built upon. Essentially, it was like a political, economic injustice movement, and just um, this is very much like that. You know, once again, it's the, the live institutions that seek to and build off of the working poor and the less fortunate. It's really much like, you know, this is this is what the, the democracy looks like. You know, and this, and whether it's deep, whether it's like really small and low funding. It's still people coming coming together, and that's a really really big fundamental um, similarity between you know what Occupy is doing and what the Vegas family is doing. Do you think corporate greed is what's actually doing this? Is it all corporations as in wanting to be greedy and have other use, or do you feel it's just uh, they don't care? Both. I mean, it really is just essentially like that's what greed is. I mean, greed is something that want, 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 want. And it's, it's, I would say it's an American thing, an insatiable thing, a first world thing. And so I really think that it's, it kind of ties in. I mean, you have this big institution that, that built, that's built off money, that's a state-built state system, you know, built for the state. And, you know, the way that it's built is so that it, it collects and profits off and capitalizes off, you know, off money and you know, profits off the people. I mean, why do you think we call it the Hawaii State Capital? Because it capitalizes. That's exactly what that, what that thing is. That's its primary function, to capitalize off people. And so I think that's, I mean, I think that's the biggest similarity between um, corporate greed and they don't care. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. What do we got here? <laughs> right? Get your sign in there. I like your sign. Who is the great Oz calling the shots behind the curtain of lawyers? <laughs> Those lawyers. <laughs> So, is there anything you'd like to say to the camera today? Yes, I would like to say thank you so much for <laughs> sorry. I want to thank um, for the support to our family, and all we want is to um, save our home because it is paid off. And we want people to speak out and support our cause because it also is a cause for every other family. Because you never know, you might be evicted next. Because Bishop Estate owns 350,000 acres at least on the island of Hawaii. They are the largest landowner and the richest in the country and in the world. They are a non-profit uh, 501c3 charitable trust, and that trust was established by the aloha and compassion of Princess Bernice Hawaii Bishop so that the Hawaii children can be educated. We are very grateful for uh, her vision. We're very grateful for her um, leaving her land um, in a trust and using uh, her resources to educate the Hawaii children. But why did she do that? It's because she had this vision that she wants her, her children to thrive because the population of Hawaii um, were dwindling at that time because of diseases when westernization came into the island. And so she didn't want the kids to be educated for nothing. It was so as they can uh, be better off when they become adults and find a good home and uh, support the local economy and contribute to making um, a thriving, uh, sustainable uh, uh, race and economy here with Hawaiians and non-Hawaiians alike. But what is happening is um, this trust is managed by trustees, and there's a CEO and all the management uh, uh, below it of the organizational structure. We had written to the trustees and pleaded with them to please fix 
the flooding because our family was flooded four major times. And we have been bankrupt, we have been crippled financially, and we have been devastated emotionally, psychologically, mentally, spiritually. Because after each time we fix our home um, and uh, try to get back on our feet, we're getting flooded again. And then again, and again, and again. And the cause of the flooding is from the mountain that is owned by Bishop Estates. They had uh, altered um, their mountain and they excavated or they um, bulldozed it and created a berm. And this berm, they put in a drainage pipe and then diverted all the water that is from their mountain, which includes a large waterfall. Now this waterfall all goes through this drainage pipe, comes down to the side of the highway, and there is no connection pipe to drain it uh, properly. Uh, so it, it floods the side of the highway, and then it crosses the highway. At times, a car cannot cross uh, because of the force of the water. So it crosses the highway, floods the neighbors, ends up on my lot because we are the lower uh, lot in the development uh, track there. And then it goes out to the ocean through a hole on our lot. There's also a culvert on the ocean side and there's a dam that connects to the culvert and empties the water out to the ocean. The problem is that culvert, it is at below sea level. So it is fine when it's low tide, but at high tide it blocks the mouth of the dam and all the water is pushed back into the culvert and then the culvert then is emptied once again into the homeowners and then end up on my lot. So I get flooded from the drainage pipe uh, from the mountain and then I get flooded with my neighbors from the culvert on the ocean side. And this is not just um, trickling water, it is gushing water that the coconut uh, trunks, they are huge and heavy and nobody can lift it except if you use a, a crane. But during the floods, these coconut logs are just like sticks. That's how strong the raging waters of the floods are. So we have tried over the years to work with Bishop Estate to please fix the flood because there's no way that we can survive uh, you know, living on the land uh, because our home, we own it, but the land belongs to them. And there's absolutely no way that any family can pay their outrageous lease on a demised land because it was demised and depressed um, with all the problems with the drug dealing and all the, the social issues and the past galore because Bishop Estate is not a, a good landlord, it's not a land, a good land owner. They, when there are problems, they don't fix it. Um, their attitude has been to just let the problems continue and um, they make it so impossible for families to survive. Um, so it, it, their attitude is like if you don't like it, leave. Or, you want to prove to us that we caused that problem, then take us to court. But who has money to take them to court the richest institution in the country? And families are afraid to take them to court, even if they have the money, because like they told my family, they have all the money to pay their attorneys to drag the case out for years, and they will bankrupt our attorney and we will lose. So um, that is an explanation of what's happening to us. So we're out here because we want to bring our case to the people and um, share our story because then uh, it brings to light the injustices done to my family and also all the other families before us that have suffered. And I know there are many, many more families out there that are suffering the same injustices because they're the largest private landowner and so many people in Hawaii live on their leased land. 
And uh, our dear friend and homeowner, Brian Wolfenden, committed suicide because of the same injustices. So one life is too many. So if you're listening out there, please support us by going to our website, bishopestatelandlordinjustice.com. Submit a comment because uh, every voice counts, every comment that you submit, and every signature, they count. And together we can make changes, positive changes. Um, but if we live in our own small world and not speak out, then no positive changes will come about. Of course my family is afraid. Of course we're scared. But we are not a family that sits around and waits for the sky to fall. Just like the flooding, we are proactive. We get up, fix the house, you know, and then try to get back up on our feet. We get flooded again. We get up, fix the house do the flood mitigation, which costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. And did we sue Bishop Estate? No. We asked them because we are a Kamehameha family and we love the school. We're devoted to the school. Our children graduated from Kamehameha. Um, it's not about the school. The school is good. It's about Bishop Estate, the business. The business side is so ugly. It is their conduct in conducting business and treating people is very inhumane. And uh, they don't care about people's lives and how they're getting sick because they knew a family sued them way back 22 years ago. We found out that this problem was there since 23 years ago from this family. And you would think that they would fix it. Well, we found out they didn't. So over the years, they knew about it and they watched the families being devastated after devastation. So that just tells you they don't care about human life because if they did, they would have fixed the cause of the flooding. And so my plea today is, as a mother, I have to protect the interests of my children because it's not for me today, it's for my children's generation and the next generation thereafter, so that my children can learn that um, right is right and wrong is wrong, and you just don't go and sue people for nothing. You try and work it out with them. Well, for five, six long years, we've been trying to work it out with Bishop State and their attorneys. But um, unfortunately, they tell us our home is safe, and then a week later, they change their mind, and they said, we're evicting you. Your last day there is July 30th. So what am I to do as a mother? What am I to do? Did I sue them? No. Did I uh, um, yell at them or do anything bad to them? No. I tried to deal with it in a very Christian, professional way, a Hawaiian way, to meet with them, talk with them, but it is to no avail. So here we are, bringing the attention to the public to please help support us. Go to change.org, type in Bishop Estate in the find box, and please sign, because together we can make a difference. And God bless and aloha. Thank you. You're very welcome. So there you go. That's the, that's the story of what's going on. Uh, it's pretty sad. Oh, man. <laughs> get a sign here.
We do this with Occupy. We run in people's cars we don't know. <laughs> Good to see you, Vin. Is that the orange? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at that smiling face. <laughs> Majority said it all. There's nothing to say. <laughs> Two dollars. Anything to say? Right. It's been a long day, but I'm not here anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Keep it up. <laughs> the second day, man. <laughs> then, the, then the real fight starts, huh? Start back up here in about five, ten minutes and uh give you guys a little rest and an intermission.